Hey guys, it's Candice and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to share with you a question I actually got asked on YouTube. So I've taught you guys how to go in and customize your templates, but I still received a question which was, how do you customize the print or on the invoice form to add a column without it overlapping when it prints? So let's go in under list templates and talk about how you customize it. So double click on whatever one you want to switch to. You're going to want to make sure you go under additional customization first and this is where you're going to choose the different header what it says on the header the screen means when you're creating the invoice so it shows up on the screen the one that says print is what actually is printing and then you can go under columns and you can change that as well you can always choose the order of how they're going to show up and what the title is that's what these order means and title so the question that she's asking though is she wants to add so what you do is you choose to add whatever column you want to add. And then you go in here to layout designer and you actually have to come in here and move the lines. If you start adding a lot of extra boxes, you're going to have to take the time to move the lines. QuickBooks isn't always going to move it directly for you. Your other option is to go back to the templates over here and choose a template that's maybe closer to what you want so you don't have to move as much. The other thing I can tell you is when you're in here and it, it, you look at it here, then click OK, and then click Print Preview down here at the bottom and look and see what it's physically gonna look like and see where you need to change it. If you want, like say, this little line right in here is off from each other and that bugs you per se, then go back into your designer, go down here, click on your line and choose where you want it to be and then click OK and click your print preview and see if that looks better to you. Things like that. All right. I hope this tip has been helpful. If for any reason I did not answer the, your question for the person who posted this, feel free to ask me again. I think I covered everything. Have an amazing day. If you guys want to receive these tips and tricks in your inbox, feel free to subscribe and I send them out so you don't ever miss one. You can go up above or down below. If you're looking for a course that teaches you all of this and much, much more, feel free to check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. I'll put a link up above and down below. And if you enjoy my channel, feel free to subscribe. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.